All right, important information. Here's what's happening the Sabbath day, Saturday, April 26, 2014. This comes from the Extinction Protocol website, and I will provide you with the link below in the description box. Here's the headline. University of Washington launches effort to prepare Northwest region for 9.0 magnitude quake. Coming out today, this is a breaking story. April 2014, Seattle. Scientists fully expect that the coast of Washington, Oregon, British Columbia, and part of Northern California to see a magnitude 9 subduction zone earthquake again. It's been 314 years since the last one in January of the year 1700. Scientists know of this quake because of written reports from Japan that recorded a tsunami. The reports of a giant wave also correlate with rings and old trees killed when marshland along the Washington, Washington coast dropped several feet, allowing seawater to envelop their roots. This week, scientists with the University of Washington gathered 55 experts from around the region. Their goal, to step up efforts to prepare for the next magnitude 9 earthquake in the northwest and the ensuing recovery. That's the critical part, to be prepared and then to bounce back. If we can bounce back, we're in the end times. And there will be earthquakes in diverse places. Washington State's uh, seismologist and head of the Pacific Northwest Seismic uh, Network, John Vidal. Vidal moderated the event. The project is called M9, so it has a name. Project M9, as in magnitude 9, but the lessons learned from it could be applied to any major natural disaster in Washington, a state that's currently recovering from the landslide near also on March 22nd that killed at least 41 people. It may be the hand of judgment on Washington for turning its back on Israel and turning its back on God, a harbinger. Let me read on. In addition to earthquake scientists, M9 participants included structural engineers, transportation experts, and representatives from the insur insurance industry, social scientists, oceanographers, tsunami specialists, and emergency managers. They're preparing for a magnitude 9.0 earthquake or higher. The plan is to update the science uh, to better prepare everything from skyscrapers to bridges to people in their own homes for when a mega quake hits. People may not be preparing themselves adequately for the kind of disaster that's going to happen, but not that might happen, the kind of disaster that's going uh, to happen, said Ann Bostrom with UW Evans School of Public Affairs. But she added that the big quake is just one scenario that threatens people and homeowners. I do think about insurance, about the, uh, the 9.0 quake, and you're thinking about insurance, about the preparations people can do. Call upon Jesus to come into their heart. That's what they need to do, to go to their father and ask forgiveness, acknowledge they're a sinner, and call on Jesus to save them because no one else no plan, no plan of action can save you. Only Jesus can. Let me read on. I think about the mental preparations people have to do in order to plan for all kinds of hazards and what we can do in our risk communications project to help people do that. Bostrom said, all right, uh, that, let me read, let me just skip ahead a little bit. Uh, that could trap earthquake waves and cause them to resonate for a longer period of time, creating more damage and area. A further study is how to how those rather earthquake waves, particularly ones of certain frequencies, will affect tall downtown buildings. They're preparing for a 9.0 mega quake. University of Washington launches efforts to prepare Northwest region for 9.0 magnitude earthquake. But let me read this just for a moment. Scientists fully expect that the coast of Washington, Oregon, 
Oregon. Now let me take you to the next story. Small earthquake strikes off Oregon coast. It's building up. I'm telling you, it's building up to the mega quake. And there will be earthquakes in diverse places, and it just may be the big one that cause the dead in Christ to rise first, and we which remain to be caught up in the clouds to meet the bridegroom in the air. A small earthquake strikes off Oregon coast. Tension mounting on dangerous Cascadia Fault. Oregon, a magnitude 4.7 earthquake struck on Friday, yesterday, off the coast of Oregon in the Pacific Ocean, the U.S. Geological Survey said, but it did not trigger a tsunami warning. It needs to trigger a warning to all of us, uh, the unsaved, the sinners of the world, and the children of God. It's time to prepare. It's time to prepare to go home. The USGS uh, said the quake, which was only 6.2 miles below the seabed, was centered 132 miles west of Brandon, Oregon. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center showed no tsunami warnings in effect following the small quake. That came from Reuters. Look up, everyone. Look up. He's about to break the sky. Come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Leave me comments.